Hey, what's up? It's Triggy. Welcome to part four of the Robotic Hand Project. Last time, we combined the hardware and electronics from parts one and two to get our first functioning hand. Today, we'll integrate everything into a single housing and use a rechargeable battery instead of an outlet. The housing is going to form the forearm of this prosthesis. I 3D printed this structure, which fits onto the system we already have. The back has space for the battery and electronics. I already added some aluminum extrudes for support, as well as a push button to open and close the hand manually when the muscle sensor isn't attached. It also has a 30mm hole in the back to accommodate a pyramid prosthesis adapter. The electrical leads of the actuators go through a hole in the housing, and the battery fits snugly into the base. I reduced the electronics down to a single custom circuit board, which fits here. I designed the circuit using Easy EDA, then created a board layout and sent the Gerber files to JLC PCB to get printed. They look like this when they arrived. And after soldering on all the components, we get a complete board. The Arduino Nano fits right into place, and the whole circuit is screwed onto the housing. Finally, I add the prosthesis adapter onto the back of the housing. I'll fix this more permanently once we have a more complete version. After hooking everything up and connecting the battery, the hand opens and closes at the push of a button. Remember, the button is just for us for testing. In reality, a user would use the muscle sensor that we tested in part 2 and demonstrated in part 3. As is, the hand can pick up and interact with a slew of household objects. However, the hand has a fairly low coefficient of friction, so heavy objects slip. Just like in the previous video, I'll use a rubber glove to increase the friction substantially. Now the hand can pick up heavy, smooth objects, as well as objects of varying diameter and geometry. It can pick up the spoon, and just as easily pick up the irregular shape of a bowl. Alright, let's leave it there for today. If you want to keep up to date with the project, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.